Thing ahead of tonight's assignment? Yeah, pretty excited. Shows a lot of pace in his races. He was recent second in the Ballarat Cup. Uh, what do you make of his chances tonight? He jumps and straight to the rail. He's got every chance. Absolutely. It's going to be an interesting match race between yeah. him and Unleash Miami. I think and the market goes that way as well. Well, best of luck. Uh, Unleash in Miami is my on top of for the race, but I think description is going to be a very close second. Two from one here in the short course. Ethan Christian there before the rookie short course and Unleash my Miami. All the attention surrounds him. No two ways about that from a market point of view. He's still saying the drift, but it's not really on the drift. He hasn't moved a lot. He's open today at $1.80, now 195 which, Nathan, from a price point of view, it's hard to argue with. It's not right. Well, it's the biggest price we've seen him go around from from his seven starts, Jay. So it most probably shows you that they're really respecting description drawn on his inside, and they know this is going to be his toughest test at eight over the 390 off a near rails draw. So he'd need to do everything right, but a greyhound that's certainly got above average ability. If he can begin clean, get that clean unimpeded run, and get to the top, he's going to be awfully hard to beat. Indeed, he is. Unleashed Miami. He's won six of his seven starts. He's got that electric turn of 40. If he balances up watch him go he goes awfully well this is the rookie short course final here on pink diamond night at shepparton here's dan we could see some sparks here in this final track record 21 5 3 1 best gallop unleash in miami uh, having its first run here but descriptions best gallop 21 and 70 set to go the pink diamond rookie short course sets Racing, but being fairly was description. Unleash in Miami won the start. Getting over was need a pilot and go for gold. Gets across to fourth. Then came Summer Kobe. Further back to Hartney and then Quill and Bale and aeroplane mode. But Unleash in Miami exploded away. He is a mile in front and he is a star in the making. Unleash in Miami by four lengths over description. Who tried hard. Third in need a pilot. Fourth go for gold. Next home was Hartney, Quill and Bale. Further back to aeroplane mode and summer Kobe and the gallop is 21 and 84. A to 21 and 84 for Unleash in Miami. And you go through his positions in running through his form, Nate. He's led a lot of them, but a lot of that has come from a brutal turn of foot tonight. He's got out pretty well. When the lid's open, he was the first runner I've seen, Jason. That was the end of the penny section because you're not going to pick him up. We talked about the first 20 metres being the key. He's usually a, a greyhound that begins on terms and then accelerates. Tonight he was able to begin very, very clean, cleanly put himself straight on top and then he just dictated the race from the front. They weren't going to pick him up once he led. He's a very fast greyhound. Back to 3.98.23 to the mark was a key factor in that 21.88 overall and he's a greyhound now that's had uh, eight starts for seven wins. Got some fast wins next to his name and he's a greyhound certainly going places and he made it three for Greg Sprog and uh, Brad Greeno tonight. So the kennel and the ownership uh, certainly have had a night out here in the first four races of the Pink Diamond Series. Oh, they are cleaning up. No two ways about that. Ethan Christian, they're sweeping the floor with everyone at the moment. The Greeno and Sprod Camp. You're with Brad Greeno after the win of Unleash in Miami. Yep, absolutely. Well, it's been a bit of a night out here at Shepparton, hasn't it, Brad? Three runners, three wins. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, mate. Not going to lie to you. Um, he did all the right things, mate. He needed to come out and win that start, and he did, and um, couldn't be more happy with him. Yeah, absolutely. It looked like a race that was going to shape up. Um, description maybe getting out and leading and you were getting on his back, but he got out first and you must have been pretty happy pretty early on. I was pretty surprised about it, mate, to be completely honest with you. Um, I know how quick that dog is. Um, he's very hit and miss out of the boxes and he just got it right tonight. Absolutely, he did. And uh, 21.88, a little bit slower than the, um, the maiden short course uh, <laughs> in the first. Yeah. So how does that feel? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, they are brother and sister, so the sister got the best of him. So there you go. Well, a nearly unblemished race record for this boy. Pretty exciting times moving ahead with him. What's next? Oh, jeez, mate, again, it's back to the drawing board. It's back to doing homework and all the planning. I mean, the planning that goes into this, mate, is just, it's, yeah, plans change all the time, so. Absolutely. Plenty more to come moving forward, but your three runners, your three winners, go off and enjoy the night, mate. You've earned it. Cheers. Thanks very much. Back to you, Jason. Fantastic win by a rising star of our sport. Three wins for Brad Greeno on the night. Litter mates, there's not much that they're not doing right at the moment. Indeed, they're a powerful camp. Always have been, Nathan, as we said before, about the spot involvement with the Greeno camp. I mean, it's not like they're off a convey belt and they've got to work them out. They turn up in really good order and 
he wouldn't be in many better hands than with the, the Greeno camp. But one like him, to one, get the best out of him and two, do it for a consistent period of time. Yeah, they've certainly had a, had a night out, haven't they? They've got three winners. I think they only bought three runners to the uh, Pink Diamond party tonight and they've gone home with three first prize already. We've had a little double with Unleashed in Miami and Flaming Wheels. Uh, the Casey and, all, Casey and All, she's got Wheels Litter. So Greyhounds are certainly on the up, JC. Young animals that have got above average ability. We've seen this Greyhound already stretch out to the 450. The 390 is most probably not his cup of tea, but the way he began tonight, if he can continue to begin like that, there's plenty more wins in store for Unleash in Miami. 8.23 is fair income flying. 21.88, we know he's fast. Did you think he'd run a better overall time when he found himself in that position? Yeah, I did, based on what the Maidens ran earlier. They ran slightly quicker. I think he's certainly a little bit better than his sister, in my personal opinion. But wouldn't be surprised to see this Greyhound as being dropped back to 3.90. They gave him a nice little freshen up. I think they knew coming back to this series over the short course, for him to take care of business, he had to show his best box manners. So I wouldn't be surprised if they just pulled up on him a bit, freshened him up, made sure he got close to the arm in the initial stages. He certainly did. And once he led, they weren't going to pick him up because at worst he was going to run 2180 odd on the arm. So I think it was a good training performance. He was able to cross the main danger in description early. He was able to put that gap on him. Description tried valiantly in second, but was no match after Unleashed in Miami. Hit the early lead and from there it was curtains. Magic Dark Star, the runner up, and she's one that was supported. Open today at $10 and closed at $4.60. Is there a bit to like about her as well, long term? Yeah, it certainly is, Jace. Um, Greyhound that we talked about it hasn't had a great deal of racing off inside draws, but was certainly brave in defeat. But I, I think Unleash in Miami is certainly one that you need to follow going forward, mate. He's a Greyhound that has got country cup's ability to me. I think they've stepped him up to 450 once here and he had to work and he had no peace out in front. He was in a bit of a bumping duel on that day and he still balanced up and won over the 450. I don't know 500 yet, but I'm telling you, going forward in you know the next three to six months when the country cup circuit kicks back off, you'll see Unleash in Miami having a real strong hand in the country cups going forward. Isn't it funny how... We've obviously got a lineup of stars at the moment, led by Explicit and and Matt Locke. We well, get a glimpse sometime of maybe the top end, the depth isn't super good, but you get to a night like tonight and think, boy, are there some on the doorstep about to hit the radar of these country cup circuits? And as you said, particularly with this boy unleashed in Miami, he's who's Thunderbolt. You almost sense a changing of the guard some point in time. Well, there will be. There'll be a handover of the baton, you know, this time next year as as the. Uh this crop of Matlock and explicit, so to speak, and transponder and that get to the back end of their career. We've most probably unleashed a couple of really fast animals here tonight. Unleashed in Miami, as we've talked about, he's a winner of seven from eight. We've seen Flaming Wheels run 21.84 earlier in the night. We've seen Zeus Thunderbolt already produce a sub 25 second run here on debut. Has the early speed and the sectionals to be a group class runner. So the Greenos might have a really strong handle on country cups going forward uh, this time next year. 100%. Unleash Miami is a star and it's been in a dead set clean sweep for Team Greeno here at Shepparton. Race three at the Meadows is coming up. Three and a half minutes until advertised start time and run for shelter is the even money favourite. Nate, do you agree with that? Short enough, Jace. A winner of uh, four races from 32 starts, but winner of two of its last three. So it certainly didn't win it out of turn going forward um, through the early part of its career but recently he's been showing really good speed, was a good Bendigo winner the other week in 28 and 21, and then went to Sandown off a middle pin draw last start and broke 30 seconds there, uh, 29 and 87 by memory, was able to dictate from the front a Greyhound that does its best work when in front. Box 8's a slight question mark. It hasn't started from the wide draws very often in its career, but it does show good early speed and want to get down to the fence. So got a couple of wide runners in Zipping Crusader and Astronomica drawn inside of it. They don't have above average speed though, so it might be able to show enough speed to carve over. And based on what it's done the last couple of weeks, it's certainly in really good form for Anne Panetta. And if it can find the top, I think she's the one that they have to run down. And I'm with the fairies. I think I said Magic Dark Star before. I should have said description. Maybe I'll save you, to, mate. I knew what you are on about. Maybe time to pull the pin. Ethan Christian, race three, coming up here at the Meadows. How do you perceive it? Yeah, I'm with Magic Star, Dark Star in this event. I think dropping back in distance, got a little bit of early pace. I just think the map might set up quite...